happen on Kelly Brown, Mr. Presley? Don't you, Mr. Presley, me? You toad. If you are so determined to get out of our contract... You're goddamn right I want out. Well, I will personally loan you the money that you owe to Jamboree Attractions. Yeah, you still have your claws on me. You still have me working here like a goddamn slave in a salt mine. You phony, no good piece of trash. I'm gonna shoot you in your fat goddamn face. What's going on movie fans? I'm here for another review and today I'm going to be reviewing Elvis. This movie came out in June this year and I certainly enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun film and I think anyone that hasn't seen it should watch it. If you are a hardcore fan of Elvis, maybe not. A couple of my friends told me that are Elvis fans that they do not really follow his story very well and they kind of betray him as a thief of stealing black culture music and they hyper focused on that and it kind of did. I can see where my friends were coming from. As someone who's not an Elvis fan, I had a great time with this movie. I do think the movie is extremely fast paced. That might bother some people but it is moving real quick there's a lot of flashy lights and graphics in the screen the storyline is just moving along at a really quick pace when you're focused on one part of Elvis's life it ends abruptly and very quickly it's not very flushed out and this sounds like a lot of negative things but I'm more just focusing on the editing part of it. I certainly enjoyed the movie. I thought it was very fun. It was flashy. That's what they were going for. And it was really entertaining. I thought the editing was very fast paced, but for the vibe they were going off of, I think it worked. I do agree with my friends. I think they could have focused on a couple other things in his life. Mainly my favorite part of the movie, which is Tom Hanks. And I hate to say this because I know I'm going to get a ton of criticism about it, well, this is my favorite Tom Hanks role ever. Cut the horse shit! I know. I'm going to probably offend a lot of people, but this movie was just fun. His character was so cartoonish. Well, he'd be like, he's what? He's what? He's what? He's what? There is no Elvis Presley without me. He was addicted to them pills. And his hippie friends were putting things in his head. I hate Elvis buttons. I love Elvis and I hate Elvis. Why not profit off the hate? It's a genius idea by a terrible person. What matters is getting that man on that stage. And then they pump drugs into him. You know, if you go into it not knowing much about Elvis like me, and you can let go of Tom Hanks's over the top performance and just go with it and have fun that it's ridiculous you'll thoroughly enjoy this film i do however think it's a little lengthy i think some people are gonna get tired and it's very tiresome at times austin butler didn't do too bad of a job i know they did a lot of voice work so they mixed elvis's real singing voice with austin butler's voice and i know there was a lot of modulators in there and they used a lot of voice syncing tracks in the voice editor and I thought they did a really good job because sometimes it's hard to tell when you're hearing the real Elvis and him. Most of the time it's the real Elvis and I know that Austin Butler mentioned that he had a hard time getting away from that character and losing the voice because he did it for so long. So if you're a hardcore Elvis fan you probably know all the stuff I'm talking about. They touch up on Tom Parker how he mismanaged him they focus on the black culture music makes Elvis happy. They touch up a little bit on his wife and his mom but they get away from the family stuff pretty quickly. And then it's just like little sprinkles of his dad here and there. It's more about Elvis's struggle and he wants to get back to who he is and singing the music he cares about, but he's being forced to like sing Christmas songs and his manager keeps signing him up for terrible movies. So the movie does really focus on his manager the most than anything. Then like Elvis's drug problem. He had a lot of problems when his mom died. They don't focus too heavily on that. And then they taper away from it. Overall, I thought Elvis was a fun ass movie and I would recommend it. I personally really liked it myself and it is my favorite Tom Hanks role. It's just way too over the top for me. Elvis doesn't make statements. Tragedy. But it has nothing to do with us. Are you ready to fly? It is so over the top, man, and it's such a blast. It's also fun to see Tom Hanks play a bad character because he's always a good guy. He's always a really caring, nice person. And it was finally nice to see him play a slime ball scumbag. I'm going to grade Elvis a B plus. 
if you enjoy it and you enjoy the pacing that they're going with and the focuses they picked particularly, I think you're going to have a good time with the movie. And there's no cookie cutter villain. Tom Hanks is an awesome, terrible guy. The third act is the best part of the whole movie. So if you get bored during the first act and you're worried about it, don't worry. It makes up for it. The third act is amazing all the way through. Enjoy it for being as over the top and wacky as it wanted to be. That's it for this Elvis review, guys. Until next time, I'll catch you movie fans on my next review.